Well, here we are again. Another another part of the puzzle, possibly. I have no idea. But here, it's recording. Anyways, they cut the engine mount here. This, this is probably going to. Um, my first impulse is to put the original engine mounts in here, but the fact of the matter is, I'm not even sure if I'm going to put a flathead, put the flathead in this anymore, because that flathead might be more trouble than it's worth. But I really don't know yet until I get into it, and I barely got into it at all, and that's what, that's what has happened here. With this, hey, come here real quick. I want to see how long these shocks are. About 17? Yeah, it looked like it. Yeah. So, and then, um, yeah, so I really don't know what I'm going to do next. And then, oh, here's a number here, but I don't know if that number has anything to do with uh, what this frame is. Cause I asked the guy, I said, what frame is this from? And he kept on rehearsing the line. It's from a 48 to a 51, 48 to 51. It's like, I wanted to know exactly the vehicle it came from, but he wasn't willing to tell me. And I'm not sure what his thing was, but my 50 or 51 Ford F1 From looking at it the other day, it looked like the whole frame is really, really bad. Uh, the bumper that's on mine is ugly, it got dented in. This bumper actually is pretty nice. This bumper has this here too, but um, I don't know if that's going to... If anybody's watching this video can tell me which vehicle had this, let me know. Oh, there's a number here. It says... 7RC502 whatever um, I don't know if that tells me anything but uh, and then this this is for the uh, running boards right here there's one there's two, two missing on this side which is kind of a I guess it's not that bad but look at these things are riveted in look at they're riveted, so you gotta. We're gonna have to grind out the rivets and put some bolts. Man, that's gonna be a lot of work. And then this. Or even weld it. Yeah, I know. And then this, I think um, they suggest to open this up, look inside, and make sure it's packed with grease. This, see? What? The drum brakes look like they're pretty rough. So I don't know, even know if these drum brakes are going to be any good. And someone pushed this all the way against the wall. I don't know why they did that crap for. Uh, because we had to lift this up. Oh. And move it over. They actually had to lift it? Yeah. Which I did. Just by yourself? Yeah. Man, don't hurt yourself. Probably two people. Because this frame by itself is probably 2,000 pounds. Nope. What did he say? No, no. I'm just assuming. Like 300... 300 from the back. So that's still probably almost a thousand pounds then. Hmm, yeah, close to eight. Eight thousand pounds? Yeah, eight thousand pounds. Wow, that's a lot of. Uh, that's like four there. tons. <laughs> yeah, so, but this is the brake master cylinder. That doesn't even match up with the master cylinder I have. Mine might even be better than the vehicle I have. She's not the star of my video. Get her, get, sit. We're, we're paying attention to this frame right now because we're trying to figure out if I made a good decision. But that's yet to be determined. And, um, but anyway, if this is already set up for another different kind of engine, this looks like they have a job this too to put a whole new, uh, a whole different Oh shoot, yeah. what is this? Custom engine. 
I hope that wasn't part of the vehicle. Damn. Maybe. I know, it looked like some kind of mid. But on the other hand, it looked like it was welded on. It's not like original. Because yeah. it has a un, uneven cut. And so like some welds. Yeah, it looked like it's not supposed to be there as such. There's some brake wiring that I need really bad. The brake wiring I'm going to need for the brakes. This is just like a brake line right here. So, yeah, there's a lot to get into. Oh, this is the emergency brake, this one. So, the emergency brake. I was very disappointed because I, I, I swear oh, look. I, what? What is that? Oh, the muffler. Yeah. Oh, that's this not the muffler. nothing really. I said. Because no. what similar, I but. really want to do is do uh, dual exhaust pipes. Because uh -huh. supposedly with the flathead engine, it does make it have a little bit more power to have the dual exhaust. So, but anyways. So, I'm not really sure what F1 it came from, but it came from one of the F1s. Um, or at least that we know of. As, as, yeah, as far as we know. Because I think the F1 actually was made with only a front bumper. I don't even think it had a back bumper. So. But anyway, this is going to be hopefully a key. Hopefully this is going to be a key to the whole getting the freaking truck on the road safely and... Uh, Quickly, hopefully. Yeah, unlike the blazer that you took off the yeah. nut from yeah. the spring no. system and no, you didn't I, put the lock nut in it. No, when I when I threw away the freaking oil plug, that was that was one thing that that's why I learned from that. Don't throw away anything. Don't destroy anything until you have the plan in place. That yeah, you know what's up. If you know a hundred percent. Yeah, like given this, I. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, oh. there's enough. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Hopefully, this is okay. Yeah, it the sounds. One on the the, the both. truck outside looks all rotted up. So. Yeah, I for sure wouldn't trust that. Be a little fun fact. If the audience knows, it came from Calif Upper California. Yeah, Logging California. Com Logging Company. That's the legend. So, yeah. it probably was around a lot of moisture and a lot of weather. And Which it does make sense. Because the whole bottom of it is just full of mud still from Metal. 40, 50, 60 years ago. Yeah. 